productivity, machining efficiency, and tool life are all affected dramatically by how the milling cutter is positioned on the workpiece. In this episode, we'll talk about the radial position of the cutter during machining. In illustration number one, the cutter is on center line and the insert is slamming into the workpiece. It's not shearing. This is the worst position possible. In the second illustration, the cutter is radial engaged approximately 70%. The insert is easing itself into cut. This is the best possible position. In the third picture, the cutter is only a small radial engagement. This is also a good position, but here we need to optimize the cutting data to ensure optimized productivity. On the left side, we've illustrated the best possible position. The cutter diameter is being optimized, and we're generating a thick to thin chip. On the right side, we show a small radial engagement. We're generating a thick to thin chip, but we need to optimize the cutting data so we increase the feed and, because of the short contact length, we can also increase our cutting speed. In summary, the cutter position has a dramatic effect on your overall productivity and machining efficiency. Never position the cutter on center line, optimize the cutter diameter, and when using small radial engagements, increase your cutting data. For more smart tips, contact one of our specialists or visit us at the Sanvit Cormont website.